What's cracking with your snacking, Snacker Stars? It's Brandon from the SAS the Snack Food Appreciation Society here with another Frozen Friday edition of Pizza Night. Zephyr winds which blow on high. Lift me now so I can fly. And we'll be right back. Never fear, pizza night is here once again, so grab a can of beer for Friday night, August 21st, 2015, bad cat early warning sign number 50, the only way to get cats attention these days is with the sound of the can opener, well damn, I thought that was always the case, anyway, I am here once again with the ridiculously expensive Brandon Sack 5000. And what's inside today, you ask? Why, it's another favorite from our friends at Screamin' Sicilian. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, I have been able to locate and pick up the coup de gras, in my opinion, Holy Pepperoni, Pepperoni Screamin' Sicilian Pizza. And you have the familiar stereotypical Italian fellow with the mustache screaming. Uh, he wants us to assault our taste buds. I'm not so sure about assault, but hey, you know, I'll try anything once. Uh, this has zesty Italian tomato sauce, Wisconsin whole milk mozzarella, rough, thick, chopped pepperoni, and Wisconsin Parmesan and Romano cheese. So lots of cheese. Looking at the window there inside that mouth, it looks like lots of pepperoni. Let's get this bad boy out of the box and see what it looks like. There you see the back of the box, including that detachable mustache that you too can shove up your nose and wear, just like our boy Paul Newman over here. Anyway, there's a long story here that you can pause and read if you want. I've read it myself and it's absolutely captivating. There are the instructions, of course. I am going to be preheating my oven to 400 rather than 425 because of Reasons already documented. They want you to place the frozen pizza in the center rack. Uh, bake it for 17 to 19 minutes. We'll be checking it after about 12, trust me. And eat and assault your taste buds. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Still in the wrapper. Now, you know, when I showed it to you and you saw all those pepperoni in the mouth area of the front of the box, I figured they had all slid down to that area. No, they are still all over this freaking pizza. There is tons of that rough cut pepperoni all over this pizza. Let me go ahead and drag it out of this uh, plastic wrap and show you, show you a little bit closer. There you see it out of the box. Tons and tons of that rough cut pepperoni, baby. I'm getting really, really excited. You know how much I love pepperoni and it's all over this pizza. I might do a little bit more disbursement so that there's a little bit more up here and a little bit more up there, or I might just leave it the way it is so that it gets, you know, a little bit more cheesy here and a little bit more cheesy there. I don't really know, but I'm excited to try this thing and I'm gonna put it in the oven and you're gonna see what it looks like done right after this on pizza night. Eight and a half minutes. This is how crazy the heat in my oven has gotten. It told me to preheat it to 400, I, or 425 rather. I preheated it to 400. It says 17 to 19 minutes. It says, oh yeah, eight and a half minutes. I gotta get a new oven. I gotta get my oven fixed. I gotta get something done. As you can see, the crust was really starting to brown. And I'm really starting to take a stiff, you know, sort of complexion there. And I really don't dig that. So I decided I had to pull it. But looking closely, all of the cheese is melted. And the pepperonis are starting to melt down into the cheese. Except for the ones that are stacked on top of each other right there. I mean, the only thing I'm really not getting, and I'm actually getting it in a couple of small places, like right there, is browning around the peps. And I could solve that by putting it into the broiler if my broiler were big enough for this pizza, but it is not. Alas, this is what it looks like. Let me go ahead and slice it up and show you the 420 slice. All right, I'm back. There you go. You see, I sliced it up real nice. This side, I got four slices. This side, I only have two, but I might change that later. I don't know. Let me pick up that 420 for you. Show it to you a little more closely. You see lots and lots of melted cheese, tons of peps on top. Taking a look at the bottom of that crust, and you see it was really browning. I think I made the right decision to take this thing out when I did, 
as well as taking a look at the back of that crust really starting to get hot all right guys i'll be right back to taste this pizza tell you more about it and more on tonight's frozen friday edition of pizza night all right guys despite the fact that my oven sucks this pizza looks really really good i'm still really really excited to taste it 420 slice looks magnificent it's lost a couple of its pepperonis in transition i think and there another one just fell down doesn't have quite as many as some of the others so i'm gonna go ahead and put that one back on that fell off trying to escape trying to run away from me this one too where did you go you're going right back on the pizza all right guys let me go ahead and take a bite of this and i will let you know what i think so far i'm really digging where i'm tasting i need another bite to really let you know what i think that pizza is pretty darn good guys uh basically breaking it down from the bottom to the top the crust is a little over crispy but that's my oven's fault that's my fault for not getting my oven fixed so i cannot give it a bad score for that the bottom is mostly crunchy the inside is actually a little bit doughy and soft more like a pizzeria pizza and that's good and it does have a decent flavor uh, not the best, you know, frozen pizza crust I've ever tasted, but pretty darn close. Uh, the cheese, there's lots of it, and it's nice and uh, creamy, uh, but I skipped over the sauce. The sauce, not quite all that zesty. It doesn't give me that Italian zing. I'm sure it's the same sauce that they always use, though, which is a nice mix between sweet and savory. It doesn't go too far in either direction to really offend you. And it's got a little bit of a tomato tang, but not a zing or a zap. Um, the cheap, back to the cheese, a creamy taste, uh, not so much of a smoky taste uh, or anything like that, but it does have, I believe, what, what did I say, mozzarella, parmesan, and romano or something, I forget. But uh, it does taste like decent cheap pizza, you know, uh, cheese, not over the top expensive, although this is one of the more expensive pizzas in the frozen fruit food aisle at about $8.99 uh, and then the pepperonis I like the texture I like the fact that they're thick I like the fact that they're you know meaty uh, they're not spicy in any way though they are a little bit zesty but not spicy you know what I'm saying um, and they have a decent texture uh, I can't complain about anything in that nature all in all really good pizza definitely up there in the echelon of the screaming sicilian line i think this is the fourth or fifth of the screaming sicilians i've taken a look at and honestly i would say it might come in second place to that bessie's revenge which is just cheese now if they could combine this with the bessie's revenge with that fresh mozzarella on it i think you would have the best pizza in frozen pizza history but they didn't, so it's not, but it is pretty good. It's three quarters thumbs up here on Pizza Night with the SAS Snack Food Appreciation Society. You ask, why are you a society? You're only one dude sitting there. Well, of course we have our other videos, Quick Chips Snack Briefs, uh, which will feature generally Heal Will Mahoney and myself, or sometimes Director Alex and myself. We've also got Dr. Jeff Smith and our main crew, Terminator Tony T. And a couple of, uh, you know, one, one or two time uh, appearances by others as well. But what really keeps us going is the SAS group on Facebook, which is growing every day. And also our viewers on YouTube. If you remember, a few months ago, I asked for uh, menus from your neck of the woods, wherever you live. You know, like the ones that you see behind me here on the uh, Pizza Night set. Well... Uh, not a lot of people have really responded to that. There hasn't been a tremendous turnout. But the turnout that there has been has been from a tremendous person, longtime viewer, and a uh, pretty recent SAS member, uh, Barrel Bob. Check out his channel on YouTube if you get a chance. I think he does video games, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm wrong about that, sorry. I've been working for a long time today. But he did send me... Um, a menu from Napoli's Pizzeria in Mineola, Florida. All right, he's also sent me another one that we'll talk about in a second, but it's dine-in, takeout, and delivery. And apparently, they've got an extra-large special 
where you can get a huge extra large cheese pizza for $9.99. He even sent along a, a picture of that wonderful looking pie. That's very, very good looking. Just needs a few pepperonis if you ask me. Mm -hmm. And he also sent us a menu from uh, AJI Sushi and Tapan uh, in Winter Garden, Florida. Uh, apparently a sushi and uh, maybe Asian uh, fusion restaurant or maybe all Japanese, I'm not really sure. Uh, he says they've got some really good specialties that I didn't recognize the name of because I'm not really a sushi guy. But I know a lot of you fellas are and ladies are out there, so you know if you're in the Winter Garden, Florida area, check out Sushi and Tapan and check out Barrel Bob's channel on YouTube. Thank you, Barrel Bob, for sending along the menus. Uh, check out Pizza Night and the other shows in the coming weeks and see where your menus show up on the uh, SAS set. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, join that SAS group on Facebook that I was talking about by clicking on the link down below. Hundreds of the coolest people in the world and only growing every day. If your name is Margie or if your name is Ollie, you might not want to join because all you're trying to do is sell us Ray-Bans and that's not what we're trying to do. Also, follow me on Twitter at Brandon Reich SAS. Also on Instagram, Brandon Reich SAS. Use the hashtag Snack Society anytime you post anything about snacks online, and that'll help us grow. Also, we have another uh, hashtag that we're using right now, and the goal is very reachable, guys. 500K by New Year's Day. All you gotta do is keep watching and sharing with all of your friends so that they watch too, so that we get to a half a million views by January 1st, baby. You can do it. I can do it. We can do it together. Thank you for watching Pizza Night. Stay tuned for Sunday Snack Briefs coming up on Summer Sam Summer Slam Sunday. And in the meantime, in between time, I can't speak. I want to eat. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.